I keenly follow the equality debates. In fact, I write about them and you can see them on my blog here. Michael Danby is the federal member for Melbourne Ports. The electorate has a Jewish population and a gay population. When I stood for the 2010 election at a Meet the Candidates forum at the St Kilda Town Hall, I challenged Michael Danby about marriage equality and this is what he said. I'm not saying that at this election that I support changing the legislation for gay marriage, but it's coming and in the next government I will expect there will be serious movement within the Labor Party on that issue and I know a number of other people apart from myself will be running with it. Danby is now the Parliamentary Secretary for the Arts. In English, the Junior Minister for the Arts. That's Appearing on C31's The Shtick, he was asked about gay marriage. Uh, marriage equality is the the groovy name oh, for sorry, the marriage equality. Uh, oh yes, we have to be groovy. He was asked about marriage equality. But the point is it was not worthwhile voting on it this time because uh, it, there was an automatic majority against it. Mm. So, sorry, say that again? But the point is it was not worthwhile voting on it this time because uh, it, there was an automatic majority against it. Mm. So let me get this right. In 2010 he was talking about running with marriage equality. Yet in 2012, when the bill becomes before Parliament, he's nowhere to be seen. He abstains from voting. He's decided that he'd prefer to run away than run with marriage equality. And what's this idea of democracy? I thought that if you're going to run a democratic nation, it's important that when the vote comes, that you actually go and you cast your vote. That's actually how it works. And that's how we get a majority. You cannot obtain a majority if people actually abstain from voting. You either vote for or against it. And if you're already for it, what's the harm in going and casting your vote? That's one more vote for your cause. You can pretend as much as you like, Danby, that this is about the opposition not giving a, a conscience vote, but the reality is that you couldn't even be bothered to be in the parliament because you're too scared. You're too scared to throw your hat into the ring and actually come out and support marriage equality. And it's time you did. You're messing around the edges here. You need to take some leadership, Danby. It's time for you to cast your vote appropriately for marriage equality. Thank you.